21. Yeah, it is a congenital nevus. And um, you're, the reason that it looks slightly concerning, I mean, it's a poor quality scan, but it's because it's so dark, right? And so earlier I was mentioning that sometimes melanocytes can have like a small round blue kind of look and like a lymphocyte-like pattern. So those are going to look darker from low power. Sometimes they, that can be concerning because of the, the hyperchromasia uh, from low power. Sometimes they can look like inflammation. So these are just type B melanocytes, if you like that kind of old school way of talking about them. Type A for being the epithelioid ones, which we kind of have here. Type B being the lymphocyte-like ones. Type C being the spindly ones. And you can see any or all of those in nevi. The, the key here the, in the epidermis, we have some little nests and single cells down reedy, but we don't have pagetoid or confluence. So that's good. And then we don't have any significant cytologic atypia. We do have those multinucleated cells that can look scary. And on this scan, you can't tell they're multinucleated, but with practice, you can like recognize them right away. Um, it's just a trick like that. See, it's a kind of cluster of nuclei, totally fine. And we see that in congenital pattern nevi particularly. And then we have tracking along adnexal structures and scattering and intercalating between the collagen. So this trickling pattern between collagen by nevus cells is a very reassuring benign pattern. Although sometimes melanomas can do it like we saw in that case of metastatic melanoma earlier. But, but generally I like when nevi do this at the bottom trickling between collagen. And it's weird because it's the exact opposite of the way that epithelial cells should grow right epithelial cells trickling between stuff we call that infiltrative growth and we say it's an invasive cancer but melanocytes it's totally fine the rules are different for melanocytic lesions which is part of why they're hard it, they are very different rules from the way we evaluate a lot of other tumors in in pathology so uh, tracking along hair follicles tracking um, along um, neurovascular bundles around eccrine coils it is totally normal to have wrapping of ner uh, of nerves um, so it, do not call this perineural invasion this is not a malignant finding in nevi nevi track along nerves all the time particularly congenital pattern nevi i do not personally use that as a criteria for benign versus malignant in melanocytic lesions once you decide something's a melanoma tracking along a nerve then becomes perineural invasion but otherwise i don't use oh there's nerve because i see this like almost every day in congenital pattern nevi so it's totally normal if you look for it you'll find it all the time tracking down around hair follicles also in uh, one of the most like real, you know, sometimes the things have co some congenital features, but maybe we're not present at birth. So that's why a lot of times we call things congenital pattern nevus because, you know, regular nevi can have some overlap. A acquired nevi that you get later in life can have overlap and some congenital pattern to them, even though they were not truly congenital and present at birth. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, but sometimes when these are are larger, they can, some of the features can be kind of weird if you've not seen it before, like tracking along nerves or going deep down along uh, hair follicles or having these multinucleated cells here that look hyperchromatic. The, it's common for uh, nevi, particularly congenital pattern ones, to bulge into and push into the lumen of lymphatics and it looks like lymphovascular invasion. Do not be afraid of that. It's totally fine. There was one thing I was trying to find. I don't, maybe we don't have it here. Is a uh, trickling of nevus cells into erector pili muscles. Supposedly that is the most like specific finding for a true congenital nevus. It's like the nevus cells formed with the erector pili as it was growing, you know, in the developing fetus or at the embryo stage. I thought, yes, I, thought, I was going to say, I thought this one had it. It's not the most perfect example, but see, erector pili with little melanocytes trickling into it. That's like a really classic here. There's more right there. Erector pili with nevus cells. That's a classic congenital pattern. And then look, another nerve and vessel wrapped by nevus, congenital nevus.